So I'm here installing the power inverter in Volvo 780. As you know, Volvo 780s have two sections under bed, one on the other side and one on this side with the opening in the middle. So in deciding which place should I use, I decided to use the uh, closest place to the table so I can you know, boil the water. So there is a power inverter. 2500 watts. I use the plastic spacers so make sure there is enough space to, for ventilation. Punch four holes and use the nuts, bolts and nuts right here. There's four of them. You can see. And okay. I also punched two holes for wires, positive and negative, They're coming out from here. I use a zero gauge wire, as you can see. And here, they're going through these holes. Thankfully, um, factory left holes I'm gonna use I'm gonna use them so I'm not gonna drill another extra holes on the floor so I'm gonna use this hole right here for both wires there's enough space for two of them instead of using one here and one here as you know in um, for the noise cancellation purposes now I'm gonna be installing this uh, 250 amps fuse. One end comes from this through this hole, another end comes out from here. So I don't have a special tools to cut the wire, so I'm gonna using this. Don't worry about this mess. It's gonna be nice connection. So this is fuse, I'm gonna take out this bolt, put some grease here, put the wire here, don't forget to put, don't forget to put um, some thread locker. One little drop is enough because it will squeeze itself out when you screw it in. Make some pull test. Yeah, good. So, fuse is done. Nice and beautiful. Next step, put the wire outside. So that's done. Now I have to connect this wires, this end to the inverter. We're gonna have to go underneath the truck. Here's my wires. I have to uh, fasten them with these zippers and then bring it here over the batteries. Barely made it. I gotta stop eating those donuts and junk food. Whew. So one zip here, one zip here, and I'm gonna do a couple zips over there, right over the battery. But before zipping them tight, I gotta do ring connection here. On this side. So I'm here greasing up the wire. Yeah. As you can see. 
make sure you put a lot of grease don't be cheap so this is how it works this ring this is wire you see how it goes easy there you go when it's greased everything goes in easy isn't it don't forget to use some silicone to prevent water coming in because these are outside wires so so heat shrink is done it's a little ugly if you're wondering why it came out ugly I don't know ask your mother connected positive to positive negative to negative end right here with uh, enough slack left because we because vehicle will be in the motion it will go up and down my wires I zipped them over there it goes all the way to the back so my rings these ring terminals were um, the, the hole was a little smaller than the battery ring I mean battery bolt so I had to file them a little bit but it's okay worked out pretty well so let's go inside and take a look there's a wire coming out from the floor I'm going, going to through the holes to the inverter it goes here from here oh I ground it also then so what do we have there you go 14.10 okay so um, before you installing any inverter you have to make sure that it will fit under under table as you know when you fold the table down those legs come all the way to the almost to the middle I mean not in the middle but the one one third of the space of the wall so you gotta make sure it fits before you install it <laughs> 